Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die, and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away, and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the Midnight Prayer. Hello friends, a blessed good morning to all of you. It's now zero hours and three minutes. We are in the first three minutes of this Sunday. And Pastor Marcos, today's Sunday, we have been telling people since last Friday that today we are going to read out to them a recipe some uh, 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 items that people have on their own shelf, they have in their uh, 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 own house that they can put together. They have already with them, I'm sure everybody have in the house and with them in their possession, the recipe or the items we have in the recipe, we are going to be reading now to them. Once they put it together, they will be able to beat, defeat depression. The problem is they don't know the formula. We have the formula. They have the ingredients, but we have the formula. And we are going to be giving it to them today, 10 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, you know, we are talking about the formula. We have been uh, teaching a lot of people for the past 43 years of the Universal Church we have been telling people how to beat, how to defeat, how to overcome depression. And uh, there was this man, there was this man. Some people say that depression is the sickness of the century. And there was this man that his child was sick, his family member was sick, and uh, he was calling upon the name of God. He was crying out to God because he wanted his family member to recover. But then the family member ended up dying. The loved one died. And uh, in a case like this, many people, they don't know what to say because how comes I'm praying to God for my family member, for my loved one not to die? And the love the one and that passing away. How comes? What is God in all this? So that man was depressed. That man was feeling down. That man lost desire to comb his hair. Lost desire to, to put on a, 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 um, a clean clothes. Even to shower. He was not even bathing. Because of the loss of the loved one. Throughout the process while his son was sick. He did all that he could. He made use of all his resources. Everything that he learned, because he was a man of faith, everything that he learned, you know, he put it to practice. And there are people right now that they are doing everything in their power, everything that they have been taught to do, everything that they have been instructed to do, they are making use of all their resources because they want to get rid of this pain. Because depression is you know the deep state of the deep stage of sadness when someone is depressed because that person is you know in a very deep stage of sadness and so was that man that man he was sad he was grieving he was in deep pain and maybe this person is watching us right now and this person is going through that but this person is looking for answers is looking for ways way out this person is knocking various doors, but thus far, no answer, no solution. So it was with him. And uh, you know that uh, 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 depression is just like a leech. It, you know, clave to, to, to the person's skin and keeps sucking all the blood, the life, the strength. It keeps feeding on the life of the person. And it's just like, as you were saying, the person has tried and used all the resources and there was no solution. So a person can try to, 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 to pull it out, 
But you know that the leech cannot come out when you pull it. They, 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 they tried. That man tried everything in his power. Even financial power he had. But yet, no one could help. No doctors, no nothing. All the resources people have been using. And it is still there, no matter what. As this is the reason why we see people who are famous. People who have, you know, plenty. People that when we look from the outside, that person seems happy. That person seems to have a perfect life. The person, you know, lives in a beautiful house, drives the most expensive car. The person, you know, has a social life, a status that many desire to have. But no one knows what is happening deep inside that person. No one knows the tears that person is crying. That's why we hear of famous soccer players that they commit suicide. People, famous musicians that they commit suicide. In this pandemic, how many people they ended their lives because of this inner pain called depression because money cannot make them come out of it. You know, fame does not enable them to come out of it. They can pay the most expensive psychiatrist, psychologist, but no one can help them. But we have the formula, we have the recipe. We are not psychiatrists. We are not doctors. We are not, in a way, specialists. I mean, medical specialists. But we are in, uh, we are specialists in solving problems, matters, concern, depression. People who have depression, then we are specialized on helping those people. And for sure, we help them. Indeed. And today is the day. The time is 10 o'clock. The day, Sunday. Few hours from now. That's the appointed time. Exactly. And you can be sure that... Today, what we are telling you will take place in your life. You will be free from this burden that you have been carrying for, I don't know, how many years, how many months, but today is the end of it. Friend, today, 10 o'clock is going to be the end of it. I'm going to have Pastor Marcos now praying for those of you who are feeling down, depressed, oppressed, and I'm going to be praying for the beautiful Twin Islands of Trinidad, and Tobago. Our God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are already in your presence. And together with us are people who are disappointed, sad, in pain, frustrated, in agony, bitter, lonely. People, my Father, who are depressed. Many are those who think there is no way out for them due to all they have experienced thus far. But we know very well that there is absolutely nothing too hard for you. And in this moment in which we pray, I ask you, give this person, my Father, the answer. I ask you, my Father, to remove this pain, this sadness, this sadness that is, oh God, rooted in this person's soul. Because there is nothing, absolutely nothing that can ease up the pain that she carries within. That can ease up the pain he carries within. But I call on you and I ask you right now, reach out to her. Reach out to him. And as from this moment, my father, from this minute, enable this person to have peace. Enable this person, my father, to be free from this heavy burden that they have been carrying upon their shoulders. Because today is the day that you have set aside, oh God, that you have reserved in order to bring the cure to this pain, the cure to this sickness, the cure to this curse called depression. So I pray, oh father, visit this mother, visit this father the children, the grandchildren, visit right now this person's household, visit right now this person's family, and touch all of them, prepare them for this morning at 10 o'clock, when we are going to be gathered together, oh God, in order to receive from you this formula, that's going to revolutionize the life of all those who are going to act upon it, with a blessing, I bless all those who now pray with us in Jesus' name. 
And my God, I also pray on behalf of the Twin Island, the beautiful Twin Islands of Trinidad and Tobago. My God, bring peace, bring solution for this violence problem that has been struck in this country day by day. So many people have lost their lives. A lot of people, God, they have been going through so much. We have been reading on the news about people that were abused, people who are missing, people that, God, they have been going through financial struggles, so many other situations. Send your angels to every corner, to every village, every community, every town here in this nation. And bring peace, bring joy, bring prosperity. So many people, they have been infected with the COVID virus. God, protect them, protect us. In the name of your son Jesus, comfort the heart of the family members who have lost someone due to the COVID. And in the name of Jesus, bless and give wisdom, knowledge to the Prime Minister, Honorable Dr. Keith Rowley. Give to him, God, wisdom. And to everyone who is working side by side to him to help us to have peace in this island, to help us to have prosperity, to help us to fight against this invisible enemy, that has been striking, striking so many people, my father, in this country. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I surrender this country, this nation and its citizens into your hands. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. So, my friend, do not forget you have an appointment with us. And we are going to be giving you the recipe against this depression in the beginning of this prayer uh, i have mentioned what people say what people say that depression is the sickness of the century i don't want to say i disagree but i can even say depression is not the sickness of the century but the millennium because the man that we gave his testimony he lived thousands of years ago the word depression in the bible is mentioned few times now the word or the name depression is more common among us in our days but in the past people were depressed and they didn't know the man that we spoke about by the way was david when he was crying out to God in darkness, he had uh, ashes upon his, upon his head. He was wearing sackcloth, naked with the sackcloth only, and he was depressed, crying out for the child. But the child ended up dying. However, the God we serve did not allow him to continue in that critical situation. Why? The recipe was given to him. The formula was passed to him. And his critical situation of depression was dealt with. And then you are going to hear later on 10 o'clock in the morning. Today, 10 o'clock, be with us. Tell your friend, tell a family member, tell a co-worker, tell someone that we got a formula. The recipe for them to beat, defeat this depression and we are going to be giving to all of you have yourself a very blessed night see you at 10 hi my name is Suan Gooding and before I came to the Universal Church I was a person who was depressed and frustrated because of the problems that I was facing in my life I was constantly questioned by people close to me about when you would be married when you're gonna have children and getting old you know everybody wanted to force their idea of success on me and that made me very frustrated also because I was financially down I was frustrated as well and to alleviate those problems I used to go out with my friends and party and drink 
thinking that it was going to help me to overcome the situation that I was facing, but it just made me to be more depressed. Every time after I came home from a party, I would feel so empty, I would feel so lonely, I will be upset, depressed again because I just spent money that I didn't have and I, I racked up a lot of debt because of it and it just, it just made my life miserable. When I came to the Universal Church, I started taking part of the chain of prayer and I decided like I couldn't, I couldn't live my life like that anymore. I couldn't, I couldn't remain depressed. So every teaching that we got, I took it seriously. I went home and I, I, I reread the Bible verses, everything, trying to get myself out of the situation. And to this date, I have not left the church because I had found something there that I have never found anywhere else before. I am no longer depressed. I am no longer like depending on what other people say to me or think of me. I just, I have a strong relationship with God and my life now is completely different to how it was when I first came to the church and I have the Holy Spirit inside of me.